Ethan is with us in Seattle. Hey, Ethan, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave, thanks for taking my call. Sure, what's up? So I am the type of person who isn't a morning person and tends to sleep in to the last minute before I have to head to work. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to change that to better myself and my family and my future, and was hoping you might have some tips on how to become a morning person and make my mornings productive. Mm. How old are you? Uh, 27. Cool. What do you do for a living? Uh, I am a local delivery driver. I sell my truck, you know, for uh, Old Dominion Freelance. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah, good to be alert if you're going to be at the helm of a big rig, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, I just have a tendency to where I sleep in and leave the house before my family gets up. Mm -hmm. And then only have about an hour at home uh, to spend with the family. So instead of doing stuff after I get home from work, I want to be able to get some stuff done and, you know, be productive in the morning before I leave to work. Oh, and okay. I just, I'm having a hard time and struggling with that. I got you. What is it you're wanting to do in the mornings that you're not doing? Um, just maybe get some light reading in, um, maybe a, a workout here and there, and pretty much just get an early jump to my day, to be honest. Okay, cool. Well, I, I have a friend of mine that's... Uh, um, in his 70s and when I was um, so he's 20 something years older than me obviously and I actually worked for him for a short period of time and he is one of the uh, most renowned scholars I have ever met on the book of Proverbs and uh, for many years he got up at four o'clock in the morning he may still for all I know uh, and study he, he was really really intense about studying the book of Proverbs and studying the Bible uh, and you know understanding Hebrew the Greek and so forth and all the different things and just that was his goal he was very very intense about it and it was it was quite amazing the his knowledge of it and so I was kind of asking him the same question I'm like how do you get up at four o'clock in the morning and do that. I mean, it's kind of like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. You know what he told me? I go to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, wow, that's insightful. <laughs> you know? And so I, I, I am I am a nat- – my motor runs beautifully still to this day at midnight. Uh, now this, I'm getting older and so I'm tired at midnight, but, uh, I'm a night person too. And sometimes you're just the way your body works, your brain works or whatever, your spirit. Some people are night people. Some people are morning people, but I get up uh, at, uh, either four 45 or five fifteen 15 almost every morning, somewhere around there. And I have for probably 20 years, 25 years. And all I did was that's after talking to that one guy i just said kind of like you i thought there's some stuff i want to get done in the morning i got to get started earlier and the only way to do it is i i do need eight hours of sleep i really do and so i just go to bed earlier because it's just worth it to me and so yeah i'm kind of old man you know my grandpa when he he always got up at four o'clock in the morning he was a country guy and uh he went to work at 6 a.m and he would get up 4.30 or something like that. And so, you know, if, if it was 8.30, 9 o'clock and there were still people at the house, he would stand up and say, honey, we're going to have to go to bed so these people can go home. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard him say it a bunch. Of, and he would get up and leave and go to bed. And the rest of us would be sitting there for another hour. And so uh, I haven't done that yet. I hadn't quite got that old man yet, but I may at some point. I'm okay with going to bed. And, you know, it's really not. I don't have anything any more insightful for you than that, but it helped me, and that's how I, I'm still a night person, but I get a lot of productivity out of my mornings now, a lot of it, the thing that you're looking for there, and uh, a chance to work out, a chance to read the scriptures, a chance to spend time with Sharon, Uh, I do some writing in the morning, some of these blogs I've been putting out in the last year, I've been writing those in the morning, Uh, my mind's fresh on that kind of thing, Uh, I, I think I'm a little nicer in the mornings <laughs> so so I, I i'm really not on twitter in the morning i wait till i'm mad later in the day to get on twitter <laughs> so you know you just kind of learn that stuff and get in a rhythm with it and that's what you're looking for um but you do have to you know you have to have the time to do the other stuff